Not scouted talk, not have won 3 0 against Weymouth and have secured a playoff place. It's uh, 434 days, Holly, since we spoke after the Easter game. Before we go on to the game, how good was that to be back in Med Lane? It was great to be back in Med Lane. It was, the atmosphere was still as good, even though we were all spread out. It almost felt like we hadn't left, like we never left, but no, it was good to see some of the players kind of live in action. And it was so much more exciting than watching it in the living room at home. Yeah, who was you most impressed with? Obviously, there's, there's the obvious. There's the obvious Rodriguez. Um, but for me, Ellis, just watching him, like it's just class. I think because I was at a kind of different level to him, so you kind of see it normally from above. He's just making these runs out of nowhere, winning the balls, all the aerial challenges. He's just such a class player. He is. And he's, he's also, there's one centre back on the pitch. Yeah. One natural centre back, and it's Ellis. And he's got two natural fullbacks with him. That just emphasises how good he is. Yeah, you can tell by like his dominance and the way he talks and he communicates. Because you could hear him, and it was just great to listen to him and just see him kind of controlling his area. It was just, it was amazing to watch, really. Yeah, I mean, if, if obviously we're, we're on stream, so most people will have watched the game. Weymouth had nothing to play for. Named four players on the bench. Um, it was completely dominant, and like you said, like we never left. It was, it was literally. It was exactly the same as Eastleigh, completely from the first whistle to the last. Yeah, because I think that was 4-0, wasn't it? It was just a game where Knotts looked in control. They never looked like they were going to concede. They never looked out of control. They just passed the ball and they had so much time on the ball. Like Players were able to turn in the middle of the park and run forward. Like A couple of times, Brindley went from right well, right centre-back all the way yeah. through to pretty much like left winger. And he had so much time and so much space. But I don't know if that's just because the Knotts players are just so much more controlled and under Birch and all that. They just know what they're doing and they know where to make the runs. And it's just... It was just nice to watch. Yeah, Ruben Rodriguez live in the flesh. Nice, it was nice. Oh, when he hit the post, I was gutted for him, but... I mean, he had a haircut for the special occasion. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, it was great. It was great seeing him kind of close up because you could see the little details of, like, the flick passes and the little balls over, and you could see what he was trying to do. I just kind of wish he had the opportunity to have a couple more, but can't fault him how he played. I know, we've all got our favourite players on the channel. I know George is a big Eli Sam fan. <laughs> um, I'm personally Miller. From from wing back to, to produce that kind of to have that impact on the game from wing back. It's the confidence as well because he's never afraid afraid to get out of play. He just runs and runs and runs and he'll just cut in and he'll cross the ball. And he just never seems like tired. He never does he never tires from running and he never tires from wanting to win the challenge. But I think I'd say my favourite's probably gonna have to be Ellis and Slocum. They're just class. They're just they're just such like good pros. But Miller's just slotted in. And he's kind of found his natural position, I feel. Yeah, he definitely has. He's made a, a good partnership with Chickson as well, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, one point secures his fifth against Bromley next week. Back at Med Lane, you feel like the atmosphere today was incredible. What would it be like at a playoff quarter final? I think it's a massive advantage to have it back at Med Lane, especially if we do get fifth. And I think it's so possible for us to get fifth. And it just kind of pushes the players. I, I think you can see it in like the kind of final 20 minutes. Rodriguez tried a bicycle kick and it's just you could just see the confidence in them it's just oozing out and with the fans backing them and they're kind of putting pressure on the ref and the officials as well it makes it your game it makes it your kind of area and your it makes any club hard to come to play at Medellin. Does it encourage you that it could have gone two ways today the players could have actually crumbled under the pressure of yeah. finally fans back does that encourage you for the playoffs if we are to get that fifth, fifth spot? Yeah, it makes them seem that they have got the kind of confidence and the camaraderie between them both, like all of them, to kind of push for that. And I think it's something that Birchnell's kind of instilled in them, that they never stop, even whatever the result is. And you've seen that when we've come back like a couple of times and we've kind of gone ahead or we've brought it level, that they work hard for each other now. Well, they're not saying they did before, but even more so now. And it's even if they have to like play a scrappy second half like the Wrexham game they've got it in them and they've got the fight in them to go and do it so it's exciting it is very exciting Holly thank you very much for joining us I'm not sure if we're allowed to we're not allowed to shake hands I'm not sure what we're allowed to do but um, we'll definitely speak to you again before before the playoffs perfect thank you